Hello everyone. Welcome to Prajeem Technologies. My name is Avesh and this is part 1 of the design patterns tutorial. In this session we will learn what are design patterns, evolution of design patterns and the three types of design patterns. In many interviews you might have encountered lot of questions about interfaces, abstract classes, delegates and other features related to object oriented programming along with the design patterns related questions design pattern solutions are evolved from the features of object oriented programming once you understand the design patterns it makes you very comfortable in attending any interviews as well as it helps you in applying these features in your projects or applications we should note the point that implementing design patterns in the applications are proven and tested writing the code aligning with design patterns will make your applications reliable scalable and easily maintainable so now let's understand what are design patterns design patterns are reusable solutions to the problems that we encountered in the day to day programming they are generally targeted at solving the problems of object generation and integration in other words design patterns acts as templates which can be applied to the real world programming problems Let's talk about the history and evolution of design patterns. The four authors of the book famously known as Gang of Four are the ones who brought the concepts of design patterns in their book Elements of Reusable Object Oriented Software. Gang of Four has divided the book into two parts with first part explaining about the pros and cons of object oriented programming and second part describes the evolution of 23 classic software design patterns from then gang of four design patterns has made a significant role in the software development life cycle the first publication date of the book was during the end of year 1994 for more details please refer to the listed wikipedia article below Now let's understand the types of design patterns. Gang of Four have created the design patterns into three types based on different problems encountered in the real time applications. They are creational, structural and behavioral design patterns. Let's now talk about the creational design pattern. Creational design pattern deals with object creation and initialization. creational pattern gives the program more flexibility in deciding which objects need to be created for a given case singleton factory and abstract factory are some of the examples of the creational design pattern second type of design pattern is structural design pattern post creational design pattern this pattern deals with class and object composition in simple words this pattern focuses on decoupling interface implementation of classes and its objects adapter facade and bridge are some of the examples of structural design pattern now that you know how to create and structure your object and classes we need to understand how we control the behavior of these objects behavior design pattern deals with the communication between classes and objects chain of responsibility command and interpreter are some of the examples of behavior design patterns We will be taking a deep dive into all of these design patterns in the next tutorials with simple examples. Please note the point that it's very important to have basic knowledge about the object oriented concepts like abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, interfaces, classes and abstract classes before proceeding to the next part of the tutorial. In part 2 we will focus on the singleton design pattern in detail with a simple example if you have any feedback or questions related to the tutorial please feel free to share your feedback in the comment section of this video thank you for listening and have a great day